we actually had an ex-minister of Georgia and ex-minister of Ukraine to come and speak to our group because for us as young survivors, so it is very important to see what a high-ranking officials think. What do they find interesting to hear about? This is actually that he was saying, I so long for this type of engagement among stakeholders because many come with a pre-prepared uh, statements with no passion in it and it's just the corporate job. We're not doing it as a job. We're doing it as a means for us to make the world a better place because we survived the battle against the odds and now we want to help others or not to face these dire circumstances. With my experience working in two different countries as uh health minister, the mistakes we avoid is to simply copying health policies of another country. I think that every country is an individual entity and the health policy has to be created to tailor uh, the needs for that particular country. Uh, so what I would recommend to people that go to a policy maker or decision makers, be extremely brief, uh, not, not go in with uh, 28 priorities. Uh, I don't believe that there are more than three priorities at a given moment, and even three is a little excessive, but three would be tops. Um, always bring something in writing, but again, not more than a page and a half, two pages, because nobody will read that. And the way bureaucracy functions, uh, the further up you go, uh, minister and, you know, and down, uh, fewer chances are that the top person will read whatever you bring. So uh, being brief, uh, concise to the point when meeting with the stakeholders that can influence the policy making process and let's say ministries you have to keep in mind that the uh, it may well be that the minister is not the right person to approach right away uh, because bureaucracies work in a uh, really strange way uh, and you may be going to a wrong person even if uh, that person is on top of the, uh, the decision making term it is better to uh, well define uh, which uh, parts or departments or um, units of a ministry are responsible for, for your ask uh, and go directly to um, that person and prepare uh, that person to be on your side and then influence uh, the minister from within. It is also important when it comes to the health policy to uh, not just uh, look at the health specifics because there may well be that uh, you may need to have uh, Ministry of Finance involved or other institutions that actually influence financing and decision-making process that indirectly or directly then influences health policies. And make sure that you follow up later. Uh, it is important to uh, show some kind of persistence, uh, not to the point of you know, making the stakeholder angry, uh, but do follow up uh, and try to, again, work with that right person that you initially started the process and make sure that you see, uh, that you see what is the progress, uh, where exactly um, your ask is uh, positioned now, you know, how, how swiftly or not swiftly it is moving through the bureaucratic chains. Uh, and do make sure that uh, you are perceived as a persistent person that is interested uh, in pushing this agenda forward. Uh, you saw me asking questions uh, at the uh, ex-minister and uh, um, I, I was really excited because he's from my region, from Eastern Europe, where we have the same problems and same uh, ideas how to fight uh, the, the problems that we have there. My passion for health is coming from the fact that I'm also a cancer survivor. I had cancer for 17 years and probably we need more people, more policy makers that are cancer survivors to, to uh, kind of look into the issue of cancer in Europe and maybe those that passed through this illness, better understand how the policy should work. And what Youth Cancer Europe is doing, it's just wonderful.